Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Paranormal Tuesday with me, your host, Jared Warren, and, of course, I am joined by Mr. Robert Dyer and Mr. Carl Blissett. Good evening, guys. Hey, guys. Good how evening. are you? Well, so we have a very uh, different episode today because, obviously, the last couple of weeks we've been covering topics uh, and, obviously, different scenarios and things. We thought we'd have a bit of a discussion this week. Um, so make sure you get your comments in and join in with us, sorry, uh, with this week's discussion. And uh, let us know your thoughts on some of the questions I am going to ask. But it is great to be back because, obviously, as we mentioned on the last two episodes, they have been pre-recorded because, obviously, I was away on holiday. Um, so it's great to finally be back live and back into the swing of things. I'm really uh, looking forward to this evening. Uh, we have Cathy on with us. Good evening, Cathy. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, welcome Hi, to Kat. the show this evening. And we do have an E2 who's a regular on our on our show, a regular viewer, should I say, on the show. So let me know who is watching this evening. And uh, as I mentioned, your comments again. So um, one of the things I wanted to talk about this evening, obviously, it's about a discussion, some of the upcoming things we do have planned uh, for Paranormal Living. And, of course, thank you very much for the uh, for the like. And, of course, um, I'll talk about this Thursday, uh, this very special episode we do have this uh, Thursday, but we'll get into that very soon. Good evening, Linda. Hope you're doing okay. But Bye, before Linda. we do get into Bye, that, don't forget we are sponsored by the one and only Paranormal Technology. Paratech, find the equipment. You're not just buying equipment. You have, you have buying an experience. I couldn't get my words out then. <laughs> Couldn't be one of them nights. Um, so make sure you check them out. Like I say every week, you know, all our equipment is from Mark, and um, it's absolutely fantastic. And we will be using the equipment this week, um, this Thursday, on our live very special show we do have planned for you. Um, but like you say, like the page, everybody. Show them that you've liked our page. It'll give you ten percent off your first order. And like you say, we've got everything from spirit boxes, music boxes, uh, even some equipment not we haven't used it. on the lives yet. Absolutely, and it's not too expensive. So, uh, and we will be joining up with Mark and his team very, very soon. I think through October, we're going to do some investigations together. So it's going to be amazing. So it's all exciting, all exciting at HQ, as we say. <laughs> so, guys, as I say, make sure you let us know you're there. I like, share, comment, whatever you want to do. That would be very, very much appreciated. So let's get into this week's episode. This is what we're here to talk about. And like you say, let us know what your thoughts are. So the first thing I do want to talk about this evening is about recent paranormal experiences. Because uh, obviously we haven't done a live now for what's it will. This has been two weeks, should I say. Um, obviously, we've all had a few different things happen to us while obviously we've been off air and not I've been obviously online to talk about it. But Bob, I will start with you because you were literally just telling us this before we got on, on air to let people know. Um, so you've been having a bit of weird stuff going down in your house. So if you want no, to share that with right. us. Honestly, it's, uh, it's, it's something I don't understand. It's absolutely crazy. And like I said, I go back to uh, last night. I was over basically just sort of in bed. I'm, I'm sleeping late. And uh, I'm not sure what the time was because I didn't really check the time. It's just that I sort of like... Uh, was sort of like just awakened by, I think it was just like a, a pushing of the mat mattress uh, from one side and then pushing of the mattress at the bottom of the bed, thinking obviously, you know, it's my uh, dog because he sleeps in our room, like, might want to go out like, you know what I mean? So, uh, love me out, I'll get out of bed, wake up, get out of bed, open the door to let him out like, and uh, no one moves towards the door, I'm think, wondering why. Then I just managed to glance towards the door and I see a little dog, believe it or not, a little black dog. And I couldn't see any eyes and that's the truth of it. I could not see any eyes. My, all I see is my big dog just run past the bed, uh, just out the way like he was scared or whatever. And this thing did not move one bit. And my dog didn't even enter to go out. So he must have been scared not to go outside for some reason or not. But... This thing was a bit worrying because, uh, like I say, uh, I've had a few things going on. Like, uh, I've, I've, you know, I've had tickles on my feet and stuff like that, which it could be a dog licking me. I don't know. It could be a dog that's, I don't know. It's a bit weird. It's just a little dog, and I know it's a little dog because it was by the door, and you can always tell the size of a dog yeah. by, you know, up against a, a white ball or a white door or whatever. But seriously, that was not my dog. It was absolutely mental. And he didn't approach me in any way, didn't do anything really, just stood there. But to me, it didn't look like it was real. Now, that, that's the scary bit about it. it. did not seem like it was real. It was there. 
It was like they were in like a, I don't know, uh, a shadow effect. I don't know what. But it was very, very um, scary. But like I said, I ran a few episodes. Well, like I was saying, my wife also, she's got a, a granny pen like, and uh, she's got keys in it in the ignition. And uh, I, got, I went to bed. I see that the keys were still in the ignition. Wasn't looking for that, obviously, but I was just sort of like glancing that way. And then uh, got in the bed, woke up next morning, the keys are sitting there uh, on the bottom of the scooter. Which is a very uh, weird thing to uh, experience. But yeah, but, but there's, there's other things to it as well, which is part of what we're going to be discussing sooner or later anyway. Because I think the house has uh, got some sort of, uh, I'm not saying attachment, but I think there's something going on here that I'm trying to work out what it could be. But I'm not getting very close to getting any answers, I'm afraid. But yeah, I'll get some really strange things going on, and I don't know, it could be attachment, I don't know. We'd be doing investigations, you never know what's going to attach yourself to you, you know what I mean? Which is a bit of a worrying thought, but not a, a lot, but like I said, I've had a few things that uh, I can't understand and I can't make out what the hell they are. So, any ideas? Give me an idea, because I ain't got a clue. But I'm still, it's still happening now anyway, other things. I mean, I'll go two days where nothing will happen and then something will happen. Or, you know, it's weird. It's weird. But like I say shadow figures and stuff like that i do see sometimes when i'm sort of there watching telly something goes shooting past which i think no nah, it's just my imagination but i don't know i'm weird i'll put it out to you anyway I ain't got it's weird, <laughs> it is well, weird. I, I like that comment um so a few people just mentioned about some technical hitches that is it okay can anyone hear okay that's obviously the main thing i can hear you yeah, Carl should be okay. Yeah, it's all clear here. Oh, yeah, I can hear you, mate. Could have just been an early thing. Um, yeah, so obviously you mentioned about the dog. Um, obviously we know your dog passed away. Was it a couple of months ago now? Um, and obviously you've had some experience, haven't you? Where you there was Weird. a picture, weren't there, of the mist? Uh, where it looked That's like she would, she would have been sat on the settee in her spot where she used to sit. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So probably just visiting, but um. It's definitely interesting. It's I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, obviously what we've got planned there without giving too much away. <laughs> yeah. It's, no, it's, like it's, like, it. When it happens, what happens, you know, we, we'll see. But like I say, it was very experience. It was an experience that I've never thought I'd experience. Yeah. I've always said I've never ever seen like a pet. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not, you can stand look at the re replays or whatever. I've never ever said I've seen a, a pet or anything, but something is there. It, something is here. It's licking my feet and everything, you know what I mean? Tugging on the mattress and stuff like that. It's weird. And my, but my missus is sort of like there, and she just does not experience nothing. nothing. Not a thing. But we were they talking about this. Yeah, we were talking about this moment before we come on air of, like, because mm. of the mindset you're in at the minute, because obviously all the stuff we're doing and we've got planned and obviously day-to-day -day things we're talking about, probably just more open and susceptible to experience these things at the minute but they do say don't be half of the time as soon as it starts it stops as soon as you realize yeah. what's going on it's literally finished um oh just yeah. one more thing yeah when i was walking was it not the, the, yesterday the day before when we you know when we, uh, whatever we did right oh yeah when i'm coming in here right at night about an hour past 11 in my ear i heard a voice a woman's voice can't understand what she was saying, but it was a woman's voice. She said two words. I can't remember what they were. Obviously, I didn't really pick it up that well. But honestly, it was it was that, that was the first start of it, and then it grew from there. Yeah. So if you see anything at the back of me, guys, you must <laughs> let me know. Or you see the blinds moving or curtains moving, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be nice to know, not so I don't jump out of my skin. You know what I mean? That's awesome, though. What an amazing experience. You know, like you say, I think it's, things seem to be uh, heightening themselves at the minute. Uh, Bob, uh, Kathy is just uh, a few comments from Kathy here. Um, one is obviously it could be that you're becoming more aware of spirit around you, which obviously what we're just saying there, which does make a lot of sense, just because obviously we've we've done so much investigations recently. Um, and obviously, yeah, I think your, your senses are heightened, aren't they? Because I think you naturally become more aware just definitely obviously what we've been through over this past month and um, obviously she mentioned about opening and closing yourself down which obviously 
there's probably maybe something to do. It makes you think, doesn't it? Because, like I say, you notice when I got investigations, I don't get attached with nothing, do I? You know what right. I mean? I don't get feel sick or anything like that. Mm. So they might think I'm an easy target. So they thought I'll go back home with him, and uh, you know, Craig, you know, have it for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? We won't leave him alone. But one way we'll take the dog with us as well while we're there. You know what I mean? You know what mm. I mean? Crazy. Seriously, it's crazy. But she don't experience it. I do. Yeah. In all fairness, like talking about opening and closing down, obviously after every investigation we do, we always like close down, don't we? We have this little... Yeah, have yeah this exactly. Clip. We had that click we play, don't we? we just, no, obviously we haven't done that investigation, have we? So we always make sure we're closed and safe. Um, absolutely. Okay. Um, what's I going to say? Sorry. Uh, Carl, we shall move on to you, my friend. Your recent paranormal in, uh, investigation, uh, paranormal experiences, should I say. Our recent ones? Uh, I've had a few shadow figures that I've seen. Mm -hmm. I've heard my name being called a couple of times. Uh, I've also sensed things around me. And I've done a bit of meditation to find out who they are. And it's just people that's passing through. But yeah. uh, my family's experienced quite a few in the last couple of days. I uh, spoke to my mum just before we came on air for this. And she said she'd seen somebody stood at the side of her, all in white. And then she went to the kitchen, heard her name called a couple of times as well. Oh, wow. And she asked me if she's if everything's all right in her house and everything. I said, yeah, it's fine. I said, it's probably just uh, for her father that's uh, popping in to say hello, really. But yeah, I've had a few experiences. I've had uh, a few experiences with animals in the past as well, like Bob was saying. I've oh. had uh, things around, around my feet and everything like that. And we yeah. don't have any pets here. But being sat here, we can smell a wet dog type smell sometimes. Oh, okay. And um, things going around my feet. That yeah, that's fine. Uh, mm. That's cool, that. Because talking to that about the feet, sorry. Um, it's always a fear in it when you're in bed. And like, especially I'm yeah. like that. Is like, make sure your feet, you know, if you get to end up bed, you like, cover my feet up or don't leave them. You always got visions of something yeah. touching your feet. Um, yeah, I'll take them. Say... <laughs> yeah, in Bob's case. What were you going to say then, Bob? But on my feet, though, is, is that's when you're at your comfort zone, right? When you're laying down in bed, you can't defend yourself. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm just, I just want to put one point to it. You know when we done it, when I've done them cat balls, mm -hmm. yeah? Yep. And I got that response, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it was flashing and all that sort of thing, yeah? When it was responding to my... Could that be something to do with it as well? Could I have brought something through? It's weird. Possible. Possibly. Like you mm -hmm. say, we'll, 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 um, that well, video was that really though, good. When, what, well, we, yesterday, weren't it? We came around, me and Carl. Yeah. Um, but he did feel quite chilled and all fairness. Nothing felt out of the ordinary in that sense. I'll you stay there. here one night, mate, and then you tell me that. Hey, I, I, I lived there for Seriously. a while. Seriously. I was talking to Carl about this yesterday, actually, because we were just having this oh. discussion. Because obviously, I was saying that when me and Lynn were there, I don't think we had much. Or not that I can remember happening in that sense. I think I'd have probably had a few weird dreams. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting house. I think the history of the house, obviously, we'll let everyone know that in a later episode. And obviously, we're going to let you all know what we've got planned for Bob's house throughout this episode <laughs> a bit later on. But it's going to be very, it's going to be um, awesome. And hopefully, like you say, we might find out some answers. Um, yeah. Yeah, so quite a few. Mark is on. Good evening, buddy. Mark from Paranormal Technology Hi. and Carrie. Hi, Good evening, Hi. guys. I hope you're both doing okay. Thanks for coming on. It's nice to be live again and uh, for you to join us. So we're just having a discussion about recent paranormal experiences at the minute until, um, obviously, the main question of this evening. I thought we'd do something different because, uh, obviously, we've been doing topics for the last couple of weeks, but we have got a very busy week of paranormal living, so we didn't want to um, overload you too much. <laughs> um, a few people have mentioned this, Bob, about uh, the grounding and protection. You know, maybe before bed, you know, just shut yourself down. And maybe a spirit just to take a step away. Or even uh, the thing we do listen to, you know, when we're going home after an investigation. Maybe just playing that before you go to bed. I think sometimes it might be a good I thing. I'll just, just put myself away in a cupboard, mate, and I'll be fine then. <laughs> no one can get out of it, can they? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know if it's about forces. I don't know. It could be a garden angel. I don't know what it is. I, but like I, I said, I, I did experience that before, though, didn't I? When that, hmm. bed, that little bed was here. I said to you, I see a shadow, black shadow, it looked like a dog. 
It was amazing. Yeah. And that was the same sort of thing. So, I don't know. I think so much just I'm protecting me or it's something that I'm not going to get rid of. I don't know. I don't, I, like you said, we, we were there yesterday. I don't think there's anything demonic in the house. You ask Carly, no. though. I bet you any money, Carly felt uneasy. <laughs> it's how it, I looked at his face and he was uneasy. Carl, talk to us. Share it with the group. Did you feel anything? I think Carl felt something. I felt something when I was sat there. There you go. When see? I sat on the, yeah, when I sat on the sofa. Been... But I wouldn't say it's demonic. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't say I mean, that. No. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's fairly. <laughs> well, put it this way: when we've got our next thing coming, what we've got coming, what we're going to discuss in a while, we might find some answers that night. Yeah, absolutely. I think we'll find that's quite what, a few, mate. <laughs> <laughs> since, a few people, since few people mentioned here, Bob, maybe about shooting yourself down, grounding yourself before you go to bed. So maybe. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's a good idea. That I'll, I'll send you the link to the to the audio. And then maybe is that the one we uh, the car job? Yeah, well, we play yes. one on the way home. I think I need yeah, something like that. Good. I need rescue in here, I think. But sometimes, though, I, I remember like the early stages of development. Obviously, Carl and you know, people who obviously watch, especially who open to the spirit world in that sense. Um, I remember early stages of you didn't shoot yourself down, and then you like sometimes innocent, you might open up without even realizing, and then all of a sudden, everything comes in, and you feel like you're going insane. Just because yeah. it's like they always say it's like a light shining off and the moths or the flies and like, oh look at that, let's talk to him. And that's when they all come in. They don't realise. Because I woke up at three o'clock in the morning. I was literally just telling Carl this the other day, waking up at three o'clock in the morning, thought thought I'd gone insane. Because I could I just I just literally envisioned I could see just all these people talking and it would just make honestly, I thought I'd gone crazy. So I had to um shut myself down, but that was early. I'll make a point. Here. Um I think Nick turned around and said it's something to do with the disciples this house. Was it love? <laughs> disciples. <laughs> Shelter. Yeah. yeah, I Sorry. remember hearing about that. No, it's funny. Did you have do you have a yeah. medium come round or something, weren't it? And she mentioned Jesus and the disciples or something. About what? Were they a medium come round or something to like years and years before? I think when Years Rose ago, was yes. There. Yeah, they did, because um, I was a bit concerned about it. Yeah. Lindsay might know a bit anyway, you know what I mean? So, I don't really know. Tell him to ask your mum next time he sees her. Who, what? Tell him to ask your mum next time he sees her. Sorry, she's trying to say something about yeah, the house. Yeah, sorry, right, I'll speak to Rose. Um, can everyone else hear me? Is it my microphone cutting out? A few people no, I can hear you fine. Few, yeah, a few people mentioned that the, there's a few audio cutouts, so I hope that's not the case. Or if it is, it's something minimal. Because uh, yeah, obviously we're gonna get onto this discussion. So anyway, we got. It. Um, it could be a slight Facebook issue, um, or my, it could be even with my internet. Sometimes it is. It is a pain in the arse at the minute. Um, I think for my recent um, sort of um, paranormal experience, shall we say. Um, the other night, actually, it was. Um, was it Saturday night? Well, Sunday. Uh, early hours Sunday morning. I was having to see my friend, and we was at was at Marlow Lodge, the hotel where we did the investigation. And he was telling me since we've been there, there's a few things like he seems a bit more active. Obviously, we didn't oh, conjure up anything, oh. we didn't do anything out of the ordinary. I think because we acknowledge the spirits, obviously now they think, here we go, we'll talk to everyone. So we are going to go back there and see, obviously, uh, for an investigation. Um, because Graham was literally telling me, Graham, who was with the investigation with us, uh, he'd heard someone, a woman talking in his room. And obviously there was no one so he thought, was it from outside? You know, maybe from the back of the hotel, outside the window, but there was no one around. And then, do you remember that when we did the investigation, I think, if I remember correctly, I mentioned about a man and a woman. There was something along yeah. the lines, wasn't there? But that's, there's been a man and woman seen in the hotel, Victoria. Whoa. Yeah. So that's pretty... Uh, if you had that footage out that night, though, and left it running... I thought you might have caught coming down something down them stairs or going up the stairs, whichever. Well, there was that, and there was even in the kitchen when we heard the footsteps. Obviously, the kitchen, you had all orbs as well. Yeah, we had a lot of stuff, and they didn't even get it on camera because I decided to turn the camera off, and that's mm. when they decided to start coming out and go, "Okay, we'll make some noise now." Man. Typical, but yeah, that um, but that evening when I got home, um, 
I've been asking spirit for a while, you know, just to show me something. You know, sometimes people, a lot of people have these experiences where you might see faces or things coming towards you when you've got your eyes shut and you know, you're dozing. It's nothing like spooky, but you just sometimes it's like the spirit world. Um, I ended up seeing a little boy walk past the bed. What? Weird. Yeah. A little oh boy. Oh my walk. God. Don't know who he was. Um, but I said to you as well, didn't I? I've been watching investigations recently and I ended up like dozing off, but literally for like, it might be like a minute, but you know when you feel like you've been gone for ages? Yeah. I've got the, and I've still got the phone in my hand here and I've gone, literally dropped. <laughs> and um, there was this woman and she was doing uh, this investigation on, I think it was on TikTok. And um, she was saying there's something negative here, there's something really demonic. And she was doing this Ouija board. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, but I ended up going to where she was and I could literally <laughs> see her house. I could literally look around. It was well weird. It was, I've never, I've only experienced this once before and I could look around and it was a little boy again and he was just wondering and i'm like it's not it's not negative it's a little boy who's playing with a device because they had devices going on well yeah it was very weird that was probably my most. Oh, wow. yeah that's some experience that yeah it's weird oh. and, but it's like you might have it, literally i feel like i've been there for ages and then you went you come up and you've probably been gone there not long yeah. you know I mean? it's really weird very bizarre um and then last night i went to cliver or spiritualist church where my granddad used to serve where used to just mean shit. I went to the um, awareness class there because I've um, been drawn to that church for a while. So I managed to give a message. We had to read photos. So everyone had to bring a picture and you pick a picture at random, you know. You... So yeah, that went, it went really well and the lady could take everything. So I was happy with that. But that's my uh, sort of experience at the minute. Uh, Carrie's just put in about Mark having an uh, amazing experience on Saturday because I think Mark and Carrie and his team, they went to, uh, they went to a castle Obviously, we're the base of Northern Ireland. So, Mark, will you put the in the comments section what you'd experience, please, buddy? And uh, I'm really oh yeah, we'd love to hear that. See this. Yeah, because <laughs> that is one of the things. And obviously, we mentioned to Mark about obviously eventually being able to go to Northern Ireland and do an invest because the history they've got in Northern Ireland and these castles, it looks pretty. It looks pretty immense. I apologise if you can hear Ellen as chatting in the background. She's uh, banging around the house. She's got the second window thing. <laughs> Uh, Mark's put, we were at Leap Castle in Ireland. It's one of the most haunted castles in Europe. And let's just say, I could have broken the world record for the 100 metre sprint. <laughs> wow. Gary's put, you ever seen a bald man running like Superman? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the closest we'll see is Bob. Because Bob gets they must have got a lot of experience. Oh, you know what I mean? Did you, did you do some filming while you're there, Mark? Because we need to see this and then we can share it on obviously on our page because I, 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 love to I love to see that I, I, I like i like the spooky things like you know when you get spooked like when we went to ridge leak obviously i shared the footage the other day and um that comment's amazing when i got prodded i was like right i've had enough i'm going leaving but oh, we have it on cctv oh, I need... <laughs> not just mark running and legging it but i need to see obviously i really want to see the footage from the investigation um because wow. that is absolutely immense so tonight's main question, so guys, in your comments, we want you to uh, let me know your thoughts on this, and obviously we share it with Bob and Carl. Uh, but be before we do go that, don't forget, I mentioned at the beginning of the show, we are sponsored by Paranormal Technology. Mark and Carrie, of course, are on with us this evening. So anything you need, they're on live. If you want to um, send a message on Facebook now, absolutely uh, fine. But make sure you check out the, the Paranormal Technology. Like I say, guys, everything we use in our investigations from them, and it's absolutely on point. So make sure you check them out. And shall we tell them the news about for our, about Thursday? Shall we share it now? Because we can read. Should we give them a little hint? We can. Yeah. So give them a little hint. This Thursday is our brand new live feed, live investigation. Well, it's not really an investigation as such. This is completely different. We have never ever done anything like this before. Uh, so Thursday Night Live is a night of experimental communication. And as I mentioned about paranormal technology, all our equipment being used in the show on Thursday night will be, of course, from Mark. And this is, like I said, something we've never done. And this is something completely different. Um, I'm really, really excited for it, honestly. So make sure you do tune in this Thursday, 8 p.m. Um, obviously, without giving too much away, we will be at Bob's house. So obviously he's just been telling you all about this experience he's been having a lot recently um, over the past, especially the past couple of months. Um, so hopefully we might be able to find out who it is 
Um, obviously, what they want because obviously that house is. I think it, I'm sure I heard this. Nick might have told me or uh, Rose, obviously, that I'm sure there was a burial ground or there was something now. There, there was obviously something there before the house. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if it's something obviously to do with past, you know, past gone. Um, and of course, we will be using different types of equipment um, in this communication there. So honestly, I don't. I, I just want to tell you about everything we're doing, but obviously I can't because I want you to wait till Thursday because I want it, obviously it's a surprise there. But obviously me and Carl will do our best to link in. Obviously we want you guys to get your comments and your thoughts. If you see anything, make sure you get them screenshots um, and join in for this interest, amazing interest. Now obviously nothing could happen, nothing could happen. But I'm just really excited to be able to do this new venture on this new show. Uh, to share with you guys, so make make sure you do tune in uh, this Thursday. Honestly, I could I could I really want to tell you everything, but I'm terrible at surprises. I'm one of them at Christmas. Do not miss like, it. You buy your wife the present. You're like, can I give it you now? <laughs> you know, yeah. you're like, I just want to tell you. But yeah, make sure you do tune in, guys, this Thursday at 8 p.m. Obviously on the Paranormal Living Show. Oh, it's going to be awesome. So the question I do have uh, for everybody this evening. So like I say, make sure you get your comments in. Um, do you think if you live next door to a haunted property or haunted grounds location, whatever it may be, like you say, maybe a forest, um, there's literally a graveyard across the road from me, uh, behind the houses across the road from me. Do you think you, your house could be affected? So that is a question. So next mm. door to a haunted property, haunted location, maybe the street. Do you think you could, it could have an effect on your property or where you live? So that is our question. I hope I made that as clear as possible because <laughs> I'm terrible at explaining things as you all go on. So I want you to get your comments in. So do you think if you live next door to a haunted property, location, grounds, whatever it may be, it could have an effect on you or your property? So um, Carrie has put in the comment section there straight away. Do you think? Yes, most definitely. Carl, I will start with you on this one, buddy. Uh, what are your thoughts? Do you think you can be affected? Yes, definitely. I certainly do, because uh, my family used to live in a property that was uh, adjoining to the neighbours, and the neighbours were experiencing certain things in their house. And every now and again, they'd just see somebody walking through the wall from where the neighbour's house was, through their passageway, through the front room, and out through the other wall. And I think what it was, the, that house itself was a house that was like a biggish house at the time. Then different people bought, like, you know, bought it and put a divider wall up and made it into two houses. And there used to be a door there when it was one big house and it was coming where the door used to be. So I definitely think it wow. th it can happen, yeah. It's like with Bob's experience, for instance, if the neighbours like are doing any work, you know, it's it could bring something up from there. Well, we've That's seen what I'm saying, it's the point, yeah, I agree with that, mate. Honestly, like I say, that their dog passed away, like, you know what I mean? It could have brought out whatever, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I agree with yeah what you're saying. Well, just I think... Anything can carry a spiritual attachment. Anything. Definitely. Anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? It can, can't yeah. it? You know what I mean? Even a yeah, piece of plank of wood. You stories, yeah, you hear stories like they've got this wood off like a ship, for instance, that's sunk, and they've put the go. wood in like it is the beams of the house and then they've got activity. Good point. Yes, sir. Well, we're just saying, obviously, what you're saying, Carl, then obviously next door to you, Bob, there is work doing, and obviously it does seem a bit, you know, that since they've just started this work about a week ago or whatever, that like you've had some crazy experience with over this past week. Could it, like you say, set something off? Or could it be something to do with the ground, what was there before the houses were built? Because obviously, I might, especially at Blackpool, I think that was, the sea used to come up towards where it was Central Drive, if I remember, and obviously it's been pushed back over the years. So maybe there was something there, maybe a church, churchyard, obviously, I'm not 100% sure, but like you said. Here it used to be, I think it used to be a churchyard or something like yeah, that yeah. before I'm not too sure. I have to find out more. But like I say, uh, yeah, we we'll talk about it more. Like, but I'm sure it was a church or something like that, or some sort yeah. of like uh, graveyard or something. Yeah, like I'm that. sure Rose sure. mentioned obviously something along them lines. Like right. No, no, it's about with quote. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean. Well, I'm going to share a story with you in a minute. Obviously, we've got a few comments. Good evening, Craig. Hope you're right, buddy. Um, That's right. It's definitely an interesting right. subject because of some of the things you hear. Um, of course. Uh, there is stories where I think it was at the Enfield haunting. It was one of the famous hauntings, or Battersea Poltergeist. It was one of them 
where the neighbours end up hearing stuff in their attic, you know, obviously next door to the house. So they're getting all these bangs and all this stuff and they end up coming into their house where they could hear um, in their attic and in their cellar these weird noises what next door was sort of experiencing. So I think it does make sense. Obviously, I'm going to share this story with you in a moment. Um, quite a, Obviously, a lot of people um, agreeing with us on this that do believe, obviously, that you could be um, experiencing. So the question is, for those who've just joined, do you think if you live next door to a haunted property or the grounds or a location that you could be affected yourself? So for those just joined, that's what we're talking about. Mark's put, yes, definitely, especially if spirit, to, spirit is attached to the land. As like you said, when you believe in spirit, you be, you become like a light to them and they could be just as curious as we are. Very, very good point. There's quite a lot of act yeah. activities caused by people doing repairs, make, making changes to properties. Well, that's it. I think I remember um, stories that, you know, along that same lines, you know, people having the bathrooms done. And obviously the previous owner, then they start having weird experience like that being pushed or something because it was their bathroom and now you come into their house. That's how they see it. You know, or sometimes do they see us as the spirits in their house? You know, because mm -hmm. um, obviously I'm, a lot of you are on our YouTube channel. If you're not, you know, make sure you subscribe. Um, but the Andrea Perrin interview, obviously what I did with the lady, what the first Conjuring film is based upon, there's a lot of comments going through that, um, especially at the minute. But that was the same sort of, a lot of people were saying, you know, did their people who were haunting the farmhouse think they're intruded in our home? You know what I mean? This is our home. Now these people are moving in. You know, it's definitely something to think about. Um, I need to put my auntie has a house in town and my cousin uh, used to have a nun tuck her in bed every night, but really tightly. Oh, I think that wow. that's creepy. Uh, when they looked that's into it, there used to be a con convent on the land years ago. Wow. That's amazing. I'd, Anita, how did your cousin feel about that? Was it not bother or did it really spook her out? What was the thoughts on that? I'm really interested to hear about that. Mark just obviously saying what we were saying then. Because one of the stories I wanted to say, which experience what people have had, and the stories obviously what go around. So in Blackpool in early 1900s on Regent Road, so many of you might have listened to the podcast when I interviewed Stephen Mercer. I interviewed him at the Regent Cinema where he does his own investigations. There, he, It's old-fashioned cinema. I think it was a snook hall and now it's an antique shop. So you can imagine the energy in that place from all these different antiques never mind obviously the history of the building but on regent road i think it's about four or five foot houses down from the regent cinema uh, there was a murder took place in 1912 you can google this it's called the murder in the bath um I'm not sure many, yeah so this obviously happened in 1912 where this lady come home and obviously the cinema's at the end of the road and her husband killed her in the bath but what he's seen from the cinema on a, re a regular occurrence, Stephen mentioned this. People sometimes see the couple. She's running, and then she she goes out of where the security doors are, and she runs down the street into the house, and then he's seen chasing after her. And this happens quite a lot, apparently. Even to this day, people have still had this experience of seeing this. So this is running down the street. This is literally replaying what's gone on uh, to the house, which is obviously four five down. So this is happening down the street. People have seen this oh. happen. Yeah. Which I'm like is absolutely crazy. Definitely. Yeah. Exactly. It's what I say, it's things that we, we don't understand, I'll tell you. These things yeah. are going on and people are not really investigating it as such because they're not they don't believe it. But if they was to do like we do, they would understand a bit more about what really is out there and you know you know, it, it's good to investigate like that. You know what yeah, I mean? Definitely. But there's so much we don't understand, I'm telling you. I still say to this day. There's so much out there, out there, unbelievable, crazy. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Helen is on on board. Uh, Carl, can you just <laughs> read that comment out? She was so scared they moved house. Wow. Like I say, houses Amazing. can carry depression, though, can't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like you, you, you go like. I mean, I've, I've seen some videos where, like, uh, some guy's actually looking at his window and he's actually filming when they're next door because they've been having a lot of activity, like. And he sees yeah, this, like, definitely. spirit walking, coming out of the shed and walking and going through the fence. You know what yeah. I mean? And, uh, 
he, he says we get occurrence, regular occurrence all the time of this. And I said, I, you know, I thought, well, this is a bit crazy because why, why would it, why would that happen? Obviously, there's possession in that house, and he knows about it. So he started experiencing it, even though he's got his own life to lead or whatever. He's got to deal with this situation as well because it's it's there, and he's obviously it's crazy. But like I say, he just filmed me. He said, "Well, I'm going to film out here one night." This was on YouTube. He filmed out, and he just caught this thing just coming out the thing going coming out the shed and going over to the fence. It was a shadow. It was mental. It was like a white shadow. It was crazy. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Mad. That's awesome. Uh, Karen just put here. Um, I stayed at my sister's house a couple of weeks ago and felt someone get me on the bed and touch me. Wow. Wow. That's uh, pretty uh, terrifying. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> see, it, it's really funny. Uh, you know, there's that old saying in me about paranormal investigators. You want to see something when something happens, you get terrified. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. Um, well, there's something, something you mentioned earlier, Bob, I just want to touch upon. Um, obviously, about people being attached to things. Um, which was to do with the Titanic. I've got like a crazy obsession about the Titanic. Um, and there is, I think this was on, it happened on Ghost Adventures even, um, but there's been a, even in the, when we went to the museum in Vegas, there's been reports of weird things going going on, you know, from the, you know, from some of the things what they've taken from the shipwreck. Yeah. Um, I think one of the museums somewhere in America, there's some, like, I think it was children and there's like weird things moving what shouldn't be moving you know things in glass cases moving when they shouldn't be obviously they're locked away uh you know shadow scene uh and of course sorry everybody yeah i remember that episode there was some good stuff happening there was that the uh, ghost adventures one that was the Ghost Adventures one. Yeah, I remember there was something that there was like the window and there was little handprints kept appearing on the window, little child's handprints oh, crazy. on the window. You remember Bobby Max though? I watched the one with Bobby Max and there was like, every, every sort of like, do you see the shadow going past? As yeah. They was talking, they didn't even see it and it went straight past. It was crazy. It was in Bobby Max and they had glasses moving off the table and off the bar and stuff like that. It was absolutely Definitely. mental. But like I say, yeah. you don't know what what possession and what what what's going to be attached to the, any building, what or anything, or even right. in your backyard, you can have something that's got a possession there that you don't know about, and it it, it, it can attach itself to anything. You know, it's absolutely yeah. mental. I totally agree with that situation, and I think everybody else, if you really have an open mind about it, it's possible that it can happen. Is that's that's the yeah. truth of it? I think. Like I'm being yeah, attacked by aliens, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. totally agree. There was another one, weren't there, about someone received the mirror what belonged to the captain. Obviously, he went down with the ship. No. Yeah. Um, but he, obviously, that wasn't in the ship. Um, it was given to someone. Uh, but they obviously, they've had experiences where it's been seen that the captain's been in the mirror and they've been looking back through the mirror, which I think is absolutely terrifying. I've always had a weird yeah. thing about mirrors in bedrooms as it is. Because I've got a mirror on the wall in the bedroom, and it's the one to one side I don't turn. <laughs> I'm not a fan of mirrors in bedrooms. It's something freaky about it. But yeah, that's obviously experiences what people had. Again, attachments, you know, things coming through. Um, someone, I tried to look for this episode because I think we discussed it not long ago. The Bobby McKay's um, episode was that the was that the music shop or something? Was it? That was Bob. That was, that was when the. Uh... That's when he goes to yeah. the Ventures, they went to uh, Bobby Max. And yet yeah. they was just talking and doing an interview with the obviously Bobby Mack himself at that time, I'm sure he was. And the shadow went straight past, wow. straight past the doorway. And then they had glasses um, smashed. They had things falling off, a, off the bar and stuff like that. They had mu sound, they'd even put music on and to, <laughs> you know, encourage it. But I was seriously, it, it was a very scary experience yeah. for them. And I think they went there a couple of times. It was absolutely mental. Yeah, Karen's just put a comment up here saying, I thought you guys were brave. It's really funny because pre-thought of it all, because I remember before I even started investigating, when it was just me and Jane was just doing the podcast and the odd live, I thought I'd be the screamer. I thought I'd be the one legging it out of places and absolutely petrified of everything. And I've surprisingly surprised myself on certain situations. Although, when we went to Ridgely and someone poked me, in the chest uh, i had enough of that because i knew it was something not nice because as we were looking yep. down 
I need to get I'll have to get the footage up. As we were looking down the hallway towards the end when the cat balls were going up, it just seemed to get darker and darker and darker, as if something negative was coming in. Because we didn't even get to go into the other part of the hospital. Um, True. And I'm like, yeah, I've had enough. And then we got lost because we couldn't find out which way the window was and the door was to get out of the place. Well, about yeah. the picture on well. Yeah, the, which is on the far So it is on our Facebook, guys. If you go through, um, I think it was, about, it was about a month ago, like a month and a half ago, weren't it? But I will check it out. Um, crazy. The, yeah, the footage is on. I checked, literally shared it a couple of days ago. Uh, Mark just put the famous mirror was Bella Lugusi. Mirror? I think uh, I Bella Lugosi. It's close enough. I'm from Burnley. We don't we don't pronounce things that well from Burnley. <laughs> you know what's funny? Just this is off topic. Just for, but um, obviously my team Burnley played a Spanish team at the weekend. And listening to the commentators who are from Burnley trying to pronounce some of these Spanish names. This is what I mean. We're not very good at <laughs> pronouncing things. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's so is in the museum. I knew I'd seen the story. I couldn't remember if it was from Zach Davis. Yeah. It's in his museum. People have passed out looking into it. That is absolutely terrifying. Um. But yeah, on, on the subject of experience and things, I do find that when we have experienced some freaky stuff, surprisingly, being quite relaxed, like you say, apart from being prodded or physically something happening, I think that's, you know, and obviously Bob falling over. Because even like... That was, was I crucial, was, that. I was talking to Graham when I was at Marlow Lodge the other day and I was talking to Graham about, we were just talking about stuff and obviously things what had happened at the hotel. Um... He's quite good with this stuff, but I've never seen a man so terrified when I left the building. Mm. He, said, he said to me, obviously, he's a fully grown man. He, he slept with the lights on and under a duvet cover. Because um, <laughs> it literally, because it was pretty intense at Marlow, uh, which is also one of the reasons we are going back. Um, hopefully, we can sort it out where Mark can come over as well with Kerry and stay there. He's quite confident, have... though. He's quite awesome. confident. He's very confident. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nothing phases him, does it? No, and he was. I just what I'm remember, saying. You know that when you leave your dog, when you're leaving home, yeah. it looks very sad. And they're a bit like, oh, that's such a honest. I've never seen Graham look like that. And I was still quite like, what the hell that? It must have uh, really shook him that night. <laughs> but again, it was an intense investigation. I just remember it, that top room, and it was just, he had that stabbing pain in his head. And I just, I knew there was something there at that point because I just felt it. And it wouldn't leave me. And I kept saying, leave me alone. And it wouldn't. So I even went outside, fresh air. And I'm like, come on, grand, asking me, grand, let's come forward. Like, just whatever it is, just take it away. And it wasn't until I rang, obviously, speaking to Denise, and I'd asked her, she said, how are you getting on? And then she said about to do this this experiment, this meditation, and sitting in the dark when I had my second wind then. It just seemed to leave me. So make sure you check that out, guys, if you haven't the Marlow Lodge episode. Um, definitely an interesting night. And, actually, I was saying this um, to you guys yesterday. I messaged Denise about it as well. So, uh, which we found out. Um, so when many of you seen the investigation we did at New Church Cemetery, where obviously Alice Nutter was reportedly buried, obviously we had an amazing two-week investigation there where we had a lot of activity um, to the point where it is looking more like that Alice Nutter was the one who come through because everything we'd asked, the cat balls were going off. It just, it would, it, it was her. Got to have been. And then obviously at the end of that investigation, we said, didn't we, there's something negative and we felt it the week before that you just feel like you're being led on a goose chase. It's just something not nice there at the same time. Uh, and then found out yesterday uh, that Roger Norwell, who was a witch hunter, um, we'll call him, obviously he was the guy who's arrested the witches. He's buried at the, at the bottom of that graveyard. Wow. Which obviously I, did, I literally didn't know that until yesterday because obviously I messaged you two and told yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, 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 on a pen, I'm on a Pendle witches group and that's literally found that out last night and I'm like, Literally never would have known that, and it makes so much sense for what was experiencing him, especially with the mediumship and the things like that. He definitely went into that, but yeah, definitely an interesting experience. Wow, that so, was a good experience, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. Because obviously, we do have that plan, don't we? Um, search of the Pendle Witches, um, yeah, which will be coming up um, very, very soon. We've got quite a few, quite a few things planned uh, for paranormal living. These special episodes we're going to do. We're aiming to do, obviously, like a lockdown episode uh, where we're going to do, like, 12-hour live. We're going to do um, lots, obviously, in a place, which should be interesting. Um, you know, we've got definitely got a few things planned. And, you know, thank you very much for the love arts. Much appreciated. Um, appreciate so, that. Many more. Thank you. <laughs> so, guys, don't forget, this Thursday, 
just as we're sort of coming to the end of this week's episode. Uh, Thursday night, please just make sure you tune in. Obviously, all the equipment will be uh, we use is from Paranormal Technology, so make sure you check them out. You can see the logo below and obviously everywhere on the post, um, which will be, uh, as we mentioned, from Bob's house, um, the investigation. Um, like I said, I just wish I could tell you more because it's exciting. Um, like I said, nothing could might not happen. Some things might happen. Um, but it's definitely going to be an interesting evening because obviously we've never done an investigation at Bob's house. and Especially with these experiences having at the minute, you know, could we find out who is behind some of these, exper- some of the obviously things what's going down in the house. So we can't wait to share that with you. Um, and of course, our next live uh, is Friday the 30th of August, a week on Friday. Um, from a very cool location. It is um, oh, the, only, the only clue I will give you. It is a um, it is a castle. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, so we're going to a haunted castle. Um, when there's a churchyard as well there. Uh, so yes. there's a sort of clues for it. So we are going to do an investigation. We've been planning to do this place for about two months, um, and obviously just not got around to it. So it is planned, and uh, again, it's going to be an interesting evening. I've got a good feeling about this place. I think it would definitely be interesting, and of course there is. Um, Quite a few other things lined up, isn't there? What we were talking about yesterday. Um, we have two asylums and another castle. There was another castle, weren't there, uh, lined up for yep. the investigation. So we, there's quite a lot planned. Um, so make sure you do tune in. And just again, the guys, you know, thank you very much for tuning in this evening. Join in, of course, on the discussion and obviously Bob and Carl. Um, thank you. It's been amazing. And, you know, especially on YouTube at the minute, um, obviously been plugging the YouTube subscription. And I said they're going up like, Within a week, we've gained 70 subscribers, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so we are going to do some new posts on there as well. And there will be a podcast out this week because it's been three weeks since we released one. Um, so, Bob and Carl, thank you very much for joining us this evening. It's been Pleasure, mate. awesome. It's been a cool yep. discussion. Because, I, I just said, you know, we've been doing quite a few topics over the past few weeks. Um, and we just fancied the discussion tonight. Any um, For the last sort of five minutes, if anyone has any questions... Uh, they'd like to ask us or anything you know advice you might need or um, just anything you'd like to know about us put it in the comment section for the last five minutes and we'll uh, answer them questions for you um but yeah it's, it's been an amazing ride so far and i just this next couple of months is going to be awesome and of course mike and carrie joining us as well on the way which is going to be um even amazing yes yeah. we spoke on the phone but we never got to meet in person and obviously we've Things touch wood looking like we're getting a bit more back to normal. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. And like you said, just appreciate all your likes, comments. And obviously, Craig is on with us this evening. He joined us uh, when we did the Wallace Hartley um, memorial and things, which was, an, again, an amazing experience. That investigation at Colm was pretty awesome. Just from his, obviously, grave as well as the other graves, we did get quite a lot of evidence that evening. So it's uh yeah. So guys, thank you very much. Stay safe. Enjoy the weekend. We will see you Thursday night, 8 p.m. Be there. It's going to be absolutely awesome. I'm, I'm excited. This is something we've been talking about for a bit. Um, to be able to do this kind of a uh, sort of night of experimental communication and possible some mediumship. Obviously, it's going to be definitely an interesting evening. So make sure you tune in. Stay safe, guys. Yeah, hope Thank you very Be much. Be tuned in. Good night. God bless. Adios, everyone. Take Have care, everybody. <laughs>